for uh for for this or that like um if they have this type of claim then they're basically automatically guilty uh and and then executive orders saying like you know local police if you get federal government money you basically have to enforce federal immigration law and things like that so i mean those are just like some examples right but he did it like hundreds of times and because the law is so complicated a couple small changes here or there can make a big difference if you add them all up. I mean, the biggest executive order he did was in April of 2020, when he basically said all embassies overseas are going to stop processing green cards applications and stop processing um, visas for any kind of visa to come to the United States. And he did this, you know, during the coronavirus pandemic to save jobs. He said, we're doing it to save jobs. He didn't say we're doing it to protect, you know, public health or whatever. He said, we're doing it to save jobs. And that, you know, with those executive orders, he did more to stop legal immigration to the United States in a faster period of time than any president has in American history. It was, it was from his perspective, right? From Trump's perspective, and from Stephen Miller's perspective, it was the most successful executive order, series of executive orders ever, probably ever published by an American president. Yeah. Awful for our country, right? Devastating. But from their perspective, like they basically, they basically won. So if Trump can do these uh, executive actions, then Biden can, uh, I don't know, take them away or do or, or write ones that, you know, you know overcome the you know like so um how is he doing moving forward here so he repealed those really bad ones that i mentioned okay um, the problem is because immigration is so complicated there's all these steps to get a green card right like you have to get sponsored and you have to go to your interview at your embassy and then you have to get your visa and then you have to go to the border to get your visa inspected again and then you have to come into the country what happens is because they stopped the processing of visas overseas the State Department basically like fired all these bureaucrats whose job it is to process the visas. So now that they started up the processing again, all these people whose job it was to do it are fired. But the American law requires them to be processed in this way. We have like a bunch of bureaucrats stamping a bunch of papers, right? So without that, it's um it's actually like pretty hard to get it started. So Biden has restarted it. It is building and, and going back up, but it's gonna be like a, a couple years before they get it back to like what it was. Um, just because the system is like so complicated and so messed up to begin with. Um, so Biden is like sort of slowly going through and getting rid of like tons of executive orders that President Trump did. Bye.